Hey everyone and welcome back to Whiskey Trek. I'm Jackson. I'm Natalie. And today we're trying something that I have never heard of before and it's called Jimmy Red. Um, Jimmy Red is from South Carolina and I've never had a whiskey from South Carolina before. Me neither. Jimmy Red is... Well, to be honest, we're not entirely sure what Jimmy Red is. My dad showed up with this bottle and said, you should review it. And I was like, what is it? He's like, I don't know. I like, okay. <laughs> so I did some research on this bottle. Uh, basically, the whole point of this bottle is to commemorate the heirloom grain of Jimmy Red corn that they used in this bottle. Uh, it was a grain that was almost extinct, and then they brought it back, and now they've used it for this special release, which is Bottled and Bond. Uh, this, I think MSRP is 300 and I think my dad got it for cheaper than MSRP, actually. So, not really sure what he paid, I just know what the MSRP was. Uh, the only review I could find of this bottle was by Rarebird101 on his Patreon. So let me pull that up and see some of the things that he called out about this bottle, because other than that, you can't really find any information on it. Just basically what's on the box is what's on the box. That's and then. And then that's all you really know. No one's done videos about this that I've seen. So while I look this up, Natalie, we want you to tell them about what you think about the box. Maybe show them the bottle. Oh, yes. Bottle. First of all. Yeah. Bring in that good lighting. All the stops. I just love that graphic on it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. What we all really want to see. This bottle, I, I've never seen a bottle like this before. It's giving moonshine vibes. <laughs> but the box isn't broken, don't worry, it's supposed to do that. Not broken. Look at this. What is it? Is it ceramic? Yeah, it's a ceramic jug. Okay, everyone listen. That's so cool. It's a jug of whiskey. It's not a bottle, it's a jug. I when was the last time you saw a jug of whiskey that didn't have X, X, X written <laughs> on the front, you know? What if this is all just like a marketing thing, you know? Like, what if the whiskey's not good and it's just all show and no go? So, but we're here to tell you. Yeah, we're here to find out. So while I open this, somehow. I'm thinking marketing stunt. Are you being more optimistic? Oh, whoa. That was a great pop. That was amazing. Uh, I'm trying to be a little bit more optimistic. Also, Rare Bird gave a great review for this so i trust this palette so um this is a, a small batch they only used 14 barrels which that's still a lot right we're thinking like over around 4,000 bottles probably maybe oh, it's gotta be more than that the entry proof was lower than 110 proof it's over four years old but no age statement and that's about all i know oh the distillery is called high wire distilling from South Carolina. So the distillery is not Jimmy Red. Jimmy Red is the product. Here it is in a glass. That's actually really dark for 100 proof and yeah. for no age statement. Excuse <laughs> me. I just love the sound. <laughs> and right next to the camera too. So. Mm. Okay, it, does, it smells like corn. Oh yeah. It, it smells oh, yeah. like what it shows it to be, red corn. Behind that, there's a lot of caramel sweet. There's a little bit of a peppery note in there, too. I was just going to say, when I first smelled it, I thought of those Chick-fil-A, like, Cobb salads. And then you started saying sweet. I'm like, yes, it's sweet, but the corn, for sure. The corn, yeah. Like corn tortilla chips. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of floral notes in there, too. A little bit, you know what I mean? The, okay, the lingering nose is floral. Yeah, when I said cop salad, I was thinking like the leafy, earthy, like... Yeah, earthy, that's a good one too. Mm -hmm. It's not like straight up dirt necessarily, yeah, no. but it does have earthy tones for sure. I want to go ahead and have a sip. I know, I'm really just wanting to Alright, let's have it. The mouthfeel for 100 proof is really impressive. For me, the mouthfeel is actually really, really nice for 100 proof. When you proof stuff down, it tends to make the palate feel watery. And this doesn't feel watery, which I love. I love that it's not watery. And then the Kentucky hug on the back of your throat stays for a while. Yeah. It's very warming right in the chest. Um, things I noticed on the first sip, uh, very sweet, very corn forward. I'm going to go back for a second sip and actually find out some specific notes. So let's have a second sip. I like this. Um, $300 like? No. But it is very good. Um, 
it is very sweet and it it's kind of the opposite of a weeded bourbon where weeded bourbons are really soft and mellow mm -hmm. floral it's kind of the opposite of that it's not super soft it's not harsh that that's the wrong thing to take from that it's it's got a coating mouthfeel and then it transitions into earth and corn and a little bit of pepper yeah but it's all all of those things are just sprinkled on top of a very sweet caramel i, I like it a lot it's not wildly complex but for a hundred proof it has a little bit more spice a little bit more complexity and lots more mouthfeel than you would ever expect the question is how do you like grain forward whiskey right True. if you prefer oaky whiskey or if you prefer barrel char forward stuff then this isn't really for you but if you like to taste the grains that you're drinking then this is great because you get tons of that really nice corn note do i think they charge too much yeah i do uh i think the jug is awesome it's oh, yeah. super cool to have i wouldn't pay the price for it but happy to have it happy to have it um this is one of those things that I'm at the point in my bourbon collection where I like having different things, and that way you can show people just how diverse whiskey can be. Whiskey yeah. can be anything, and this is a great show of that. It's like, it doesn't matter if it's 100 proof, it's viscous. I love that we, we added another state to the collection. That is really cool too. I love having different things. If someone wants to know what does corn forward whiskey taste or smell like, this is a great one to go for. And without going to something super young, right? You could go to like a two to four year old whiskey somewhere and be like, this is what grains smell like. And they'd be like, that's disgusting. <laughs> but this does it really nice. So I'm very impressed. Um, happy that we have this. I like it a lot. Jimmy Red. Um, I haven't seen any other Jimmy Red around, so. If you guys have more Jimmy Red, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on what the distillery High Wire Distilling is doing because it seems like they might, put, might be putting out some pretty good craft whiskey. So let us know in the comments below what you guys think about Jimmy Red High Wire Distillery or what you think about this Jimmy Red Bottled and Bond Limited Edition. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll put in a blind for him and see if he can point it out. Instantly. Interesting. That would be a tough one to put out in a blind unless you really caught onto that corn note. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's all from us today here at Whiskey Trek. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Cheers. Cheers.